Mom. Hey, Grandma. <laughs> it is so good to see you. Oh, Jerry, I'll bet you have grown a foot. <laughs> How is the trip, oh, honey? Long. Lots of traffic. Mm -hmm. You look exhausted. Gee, thanks. Oh, I didn't mean that. You know that. <laughs> oh, balloons and signs. Mom, you didn't have to do that. Of course I did. Now come inside. You need some rest. Mm. Jared! Oh, honey, leave all of that. We'll unpack later. He's sure that we left his action figures behind. Honey, I told you, they're in the box underneath your bag. You know, he's dying to see his room. He'll feel at home once we get his stuff unpacked. Oh, sure. Then I better help him. <laughs> Ta-da! It's pink! Well, of course it's pink. It was my room. We'll paint it blue. Is that okay, Mom? Yes, We can paint blue. it whatever color you like. I suppose I should have gotten rid of all this stuff a long time ago, but I wasn't sure what you'd want to keep. Hey, um, Mom, can I go and tell Dad that we got here okay? Oh, yeah, sure. Of course you can. Use the phone downstairs. Okay. Uh, the one in the living room. 1,600 miles in two days, halfway across the country. I am so happy not to be driving anymore. Hi, Dad. I'm not able to pick up the phone right now. Leave a message and I'll get right back to you. Hi, Dad. It's Jared. We're here. We're grandmas. Bye. Will we ever see them again? Maybe we'll go back for a visit. This is the home that we brought you back to after you were born. Oh, I thought we'd never leave. We wouldn't have if you and Dad hadn't gotten divorced. You know something, Jared? Sometimes things we're not ready for happen anyway. We just have to take life as it comes. So what are some of the things we have to be grateful for tonight? Oh, I know. How about us getting here safely and not going over the edge on that curly bit through the mountain? <laughs> or how about being thankful for Grandma having a big enough house for all of us? And for me finding a job close by? And for the new school that you're going to be starting next week? I miss my friends, Mom. Well, then how about being grateful for all the new friends you're going to make? Hmm? And for all the wonderful things God has in store for us. Thank, Thank you, Lord, Lord, for these and all our other blessings, blessings and guard us through this night. night. Amen. Okay, good night. I love night. you, Mom. How far is Florida from here? Hmm, about 2,500 miles. Will Dad come and visit? He said he would. He said I'd go see him in Pensacola. He said we'd go camping, but we didn't. Well, maybe his work will bring him out here, and then you'll be sure to see him. Does Dad still love me? Yes, Jared, of course your dad still loves you. Now get some sleep, okay? Thank you for letting us stay, Mom. Oh, don't be silly. It's good to have you home. How's Jared doing? Well, let's see. In the last 12 months, his dad and I got divorced. Gil took off and moved halfway across the country in one direction, and now I've sold the only home he's ever known, uprooted him from his friends, and moved him halfway across the country in the opposite direction. Add in the fact that his dad doesn't return his phone calls and Jared thinks he doesn't love him anymore, and I would say it hasn't been the best year he's ever had. <laughs> well, Jared will just have to make this his new home. I tell you what, I will buy him a bicycle, and then within a week or two, he will know every kid within five miles of here. Now, take out the trash. <laughs> Have everything you need? Oh, yeah, I'm good, Mom. Thanks. Uh you know, when I pray to God, I don't tell him what to do. I tell him what my problems are. And then I let him come up with something to surprise me. You see, he has a plan for each of us. You just have to have faith. Good night. Good night, Mom. Your uh, backpack, your lunch, you ready? What's wrong? I don't know anyone. What if the other kids don't like me? Are you kidding? They're gonna love you. 
You know what, during recess, go out on the yard and play handball. That's a great way to make friends. And before long, you're gonna know everyone. Come on, let's go meet your teacher. Let's go. Class, this is Jared Marshall. He just moved here from Iowa, and he's going to be in our class. Jared, you'll be sitting. You'll be sitting here. I ordered all of your textbooks. I'm sure at recess you'll get to know everybody. So did everybody have a good spring break? Yes. yes. Good. Guys. Guys. Now, this is uh, Dana Marshall. How are you? She'll be joining us today, as I told you, taking over from Penny. And this, yeah, this will be your station. Now, Martha over here, she's our go-to gal for software. Anything you need to know about Protean CAD, she is your guru, and I think also your Saturday partner. I told you about that, right? Each team member works one Saturday each month. Ah, I gotta take this. Uh, Derek, I may need you. Martha, you too. Uh, just make yourself comfortable. Uh, Derek will get you started once we're through this. Yeah, Jack. Yeah, hey, how you doing? We had my son. That was a sinker. How come I never learned? That was a good cut, though. Thanks. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Let's go. Kaminsky. Saratoga. Guys, we were winning. What's going on? Just because nobody ever writes you, Sergeant Carrera, doesn't mean the rest of these guys don't want their mail. <laughs> surprise, surprise, Sergeant McKay. There we go. Hartman, go. Okay, today we're going to do something new. We're each going to write a letter, but we aren't going to write to anyone that we know. How many of you know what Fort Sebastian is? Good. Okay. What is it, Wyatt? It's where the soldiers live. That's right. It is a U.S. Army base. Right now, the soldiers from Fort Sebastian are in Bosnia. Where's that? There. See, Bosnia. They're on a peacekeeping mission. They're helping to keep everyone calm and happy. Today, each of us is going to write a letter to a soldier from Fort Sebastian who is away from home, away from his family, keeping the world safe for us. The name of the soldier you're going to write to is on the letter card that I just gave you. Dear Sergeant Carrera, my name is Jared Marshall and I live in California. I'm in fourth grade and our whole class is writing to Army soldiers in Bosnia. My teacher told us how hard your job is and what you are doing in Bosnia. Penny. Hey, how you doing, my brother? 181 days down, 16 to go. I can't wait to get home. I heard that. How's Liz doing? Yeah, she's doing all right. You know, the last couple of months is always the toughest. I know how she does. Can we decide where you're going for your leave? Mm, it's none of the plans. The rest is good to change. to play baseball. I suck at baseball. Well, that's what coaches are for. That's right. Here, try it on. I, I think I might have gotten a size too big. I'm doing my homework. Oh, o okay. Well, we'll try it on later. Well, that went over like a lead balloon. I thought it would be a great way for him to make friends. Didn't Gil ever take him to T-ball? Oh, yeah, for uh, about a week when Jared was five. And then he was too busy, and Jared wouldn't go with me. So, guys, welcome to Lincoln Park Junior Baseball. I'm Jack Hanley. I'm one of the coaches. Uh, the tryouts today are to put all you guys through your paces so we can find out what level your game is at. Let's go. Take the field. All right, let's go.
So how did it go? You saw I sucked. You're good at catching. Oh my gosh, she throws like a girl. No, 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 no. We'll just practice. Sergeant McKay. Hey. What is this? Wonders will never cease. Sergeant First Class Vincent Carrera. Hey. Maybe it's his ex-wife trying to find out why you haven't gotten yourself killed yet. <laughs> Connor, Saratoga. Dear Sergeant Carrera, my name is Jared Marshall, and I live in California. I'm in fourth grade, and our whole class is writing to Army soldiers in Bosnia. My teacher told us how hard your job is and what you are doing in Bosnia. Of course he throws like a girl. I'm the only one he's ever thrown with. All those boys have been playing baseball since they're little. I, I really let him down. I, I'm just not good at being mom and dad. Will you stop that? You cannot be all things to Jared. He will learn. And you, you need to start taking some time for yourself. Maybe go out on a date, something. You know, for the last 12 years, whenever I've thought about me, it's always Gil and me. I dream about being in a relationship again. I even dream about being back together with Gil again sometimes. Don't worry, I get over that one real fast. But the truth is I'm not ready to start dating. I'm not even interested. Which is exactly when God might sneak up and take you by surprise. You see, God has a plan for each of us. And you have to be open to whatever he sends you, whether you think you're ready for it or not. Oh, by the way, Jared called his father today and left a message. Of course, Gil never called him back. Oh, Jared! Jared, dinner's ready! Hey, Lanny. What are you, about 10 years old when you're in fourth grade? About that. Why? That letter I got today? It was a dear GI letter from a kid in Ronesfield. Is it Ronefield's near Fort Sebastian? You need to get off the base a little more. It's about 25 miles out of the interstate. I tell you, that letter really hit home. Reminded me when I was a kid. Been there, done that? Got a t-shirt to prove it. <laughs> you mind if I borrow that paper and pen? What, are you gonna write him back? I wish I had someone write when I was his age. Thank you. you lock yourself out. Dear Jared, it was real nice to get your letter, and awful nice of you to write. You didn't tell me how old you are, but you're in the fourth grade, so I guess you're about 10. You're right about it's tough growing up in a different place than your dad. But the version of Proteon CAD they're using is 6.2. The last one I used was 2.7. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. That means I'm 10 years out of date. Well, you knew that going in. You'll get up to speed. Everyone is 10 years younger than me. So? They'll take a break, have kids, and be the same age you are. The men, too? <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, well, I have to work one Saturday out of the month. They didn't bother telling me that during the interview. I mean, what am I going to do with Jared? He doesn't have any friends. I can't set up any play dates. Well, I'll take care of him. We can have some quality bonding time. Look, the way I see it, you have just had your first day back at work in 10 years and survived. <laughs> now, quit underestimating yourself. But, Mom. But you do intend to go back tomorrow, don't you? Yes. Well, then that is the only but that counts. Jared, you've got some mail on the table. Is it from Dad? Only if he joined the army. It's from that soldier I wrote to. <laughs> Dear Jared, it was real nice to get your letter, and awful nice of you to write. You didn't tell me how old you are, but you're in the fourth grade, so I guess you're about 10. You're right about it's tough growing up in a different place than your dad. I know. I was your age when my dad left my mom and we moved. I remember thinking, I'll never make new friends. Not good ones like I had before. But you know something? I did.
man I was looking for. Hey, what up, man? Last chance to come down to San Diego with us. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm all right. Come on, Vince, you're on leave. You can't spend it alone on the base. Uh, man, I like the base when it's empty. You've been divorced three years, right? Come on, Liz got a whole list of women to fix you up with. The last thing I need in my life is a woman right now. Army and women don't mix with me, especially when we're overseas. Three years. I appreciate it. All right, you know what? I give up. I saw the mail clerk put a letter in your box. If you change your mind, give me a call. I will. Have fun. Dear Sergeant Carrera, my mom says I had to play baseball. She says it will help me make friends, but who wants to be friends with a kid who throws like a girl? We had tryouts on Monday. I was terrible. I couldn't hit the ball. I was the slowest kid on the field. I haven't made any friends yet, and I don't think I'll be playing baseball. Maybe I should just forget it. Anyway, I hope everything is good over there. We are thinking about you and hope you're home soon. Your friend, Jared Marshall. Dear Jared, I got you a letter about baseball. Your mom's right. It's a great way to make friends. The key... Yes, ma'am. Does Jared Marshall live here? Yes. I'm Vince Carrera, uh, the soldier he's been riding to. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, it's so nice to meet you. Well, you must be Jared's mom. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, if the letters say anything about your boy, he's quite the young man. Thank you. You know, I, I am so sorry to barge in like this. I'll, I'll be on my way. You, I just, I thought you were in Bosnia. It... Oh, I was. I got back a couple days ago. I'm stationed up at Fort Sebastian. It's... It's about 25 miles up the interstate. I'm Dana. Hi, hey. um, hi Mrs. Marshall. Oh, Dana. <laughs> okay. Jared is, is really going to want to meet you. He's going to be so excited. Would you excuse me for one sure. second? I'll, oh, sorry. It's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It. It's okay. <laughs> Jared! Jared! Hey, Jared, come here quick. There's someone who wants to meet you. Hurry. Come on, let's go. Jared, uh, this is Sergeant Vince Carrera, the soldier you've been writing to. He's home from Bosnia. Nice to meet you in person, Jared. Hey, remember that last letter, how you were saying you are having a hard time getting started with baseball? Well, besides being a pretty good soldier, I'm pretty good at baseball, too. And I was hoping that, uh, of course, if it's okay with your mom, that uh, I get to coach you a little bit. Please, Mom. Please. <sighs> and Mom would have to come because we need fielders, right? Uh, how could I refuse? All right. Let's play some baseball. You know one of the most important things about baseball? No. It's fun. Come on, let's go. That's it, you ready? Get that. Throw it back. Wow, wow, all right. Just get in front of the ball like you're doing, all right? Nice, man. Nice catch, man. You got a good natural eye for catching, that's for sure. Your hitting's all right, too. Now, your throwing will work on. You know, when I first started playing baseball when I was a kid, I wasn't much good. But like you, I could catch. So I became a catcher. That way, when I learned how to throw, I could still help my team out. Do you know if they picked a catcher for the team yet? 
I think they're going to decide after the first practice. Well, all right. Let's make you a catcher. Pitch to me. Oh. <laughs> Come on. All right, you ready? I'm going to stay. First things first. <laughs> Feet, shoulder width. Square okay. it up with your body. Width. All right? Yeah. Get down there, crash down. Crouch. Give the pitcher a big old target. Jared, watch out. <laughs> Uh, key to cashing? Always mm -hmm. get in front of the ball. You don't want them to get to the backstop, all right? Because they'll steal a base. You ready to try it? Yeah. All right, get over there. That's it. Good. Way to measure it up. Then crouch and target. Look at you. You're a catcher already, man. <laughs> nice throw, lady. All right, you ready? Yeah. It's coming at you. All right, way to stay in front of the ball. That was good. Well, we'll work on that. All right, way to get in front of the ball. That's what I'm talking about. So were you good at baseball when you were young? Whoa, man, you saying I'm old? No, you're not old, old. You're like, um, old like, um, my mom's old. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Are you saying that I'm old? No, you're not old. You're <laughs> no, I didn't mean it. <laughs> it's OK. We know what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> so, were you good at baseball? I was pretty good in high school. I had loads of fun, I'll tell you that. Will you come and coach me again? Oh, Jared, I'm sure that uh, Sergeant Carrera has uh, a lot of other things he needs to be doing. Actually, my battalion's on leave right now, so I have nothing but time. I'd love to coach Jared again, if that's all right with you. Well, that would be great. Why don't we wait and see how he does at his next practice? All right, just let me know. They promise you're gonna ask the coach about the catcher, right? Yes, sir. Sergeant Vince. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. Likewise, ma'am. Dana. Likewise. Every catcher since Abner Doubleday invented the game. <laughs> that sergeant really left a big impression on Jared. I could have never taught him everything he taught him. You should have seen how patient he was with Jared. He was totally there just for him. God works in mysterious ways. Is he cute? I didn't notice. I know, but if you had noticed. Yes, you would say he was cute, and I am not ready to think about that. Ask him. Ask me what? Can I try it for catcher, please? Have you ever suited up before? No, but Sergeant Carrera says I'm good at catching. <laughs> and who is Sergeant Carrera? Doesn't matter. Sure, you can try it for catcher. Suit up and you can do it while the others have batting practice. Come on. Come on, everybody. Take the field. Let's go. Batting practice. you answer that? Oh, sure. Hello? Is this Jared Marshall's mother? Yes, it is. This is Coach Hanley. I'm just letting you know that Jared will be playing for the Chargers. Is he the catcher? Definitely. Yes, thank you so much. You are the catcher for the Chargers. Yes! Woo! Bingo! <laughs> Yay! Yes. You ready to do this? Ah, here we go. You ready? Hey, we're going out for hamburgers after this. Do you want to come? Oh, uh, Jared, Vince has spent most of the afternoon with us. I think that we should quit while we're ahead. Please, Mom? Well, it's not up to me, but if you would like to join us, you'd be more than welcome. You know, I wouldn't mind joining you under one condition. My treat. Oh, no, we, we couldn't. I don't think I can make it then. 
Okay, at times like this, my mother taught me to give in graciously and say thank you. My pleasure. So did you get your catcher's gear yet? Mm. Who gets it next week? Team supplies it this year, and then we have to buy it for him next year. Oh, that means he's gonna give you a new catcher's mitt. It's gonna be all stiff as a board. I thought about that, though. So, I got you this. It's what they're using the majors. Soften that mitt right up. Wow. What do you say, Jared? Thanks. You're welcome. That was really thoughtful of you. You know, I, I got the feeling that when you said you had a lot of fun playing baseball in high school, that you were being modest. Well, I was offered a triple-A contract out of high school, but you know, all I ever wanted to do was be in the Army, so I didn't sign it. Plus, could hit a curveball, so the major leagues were a long shot. You could have gone pro. What are you doing up at this house? Uh, I'm just trying to make sense of some new software, CAD software they use at the office. I can't help you there. It took me three whole night courses at community college just to learn how to email and Google. <laughs> oh, I just I feel so overwhelmed. Everything's changed so much, I'm afraid I'm never going to catch up. And I'm on probation until my first evaluation. And then they will realize how lucky they are to have you. I know. I know that I am 37 years old, but I feel like I am seven, and I would like you to wave your magic mom wand like you did when I was a child and make everything OK again. <laughs> The nice thing about growing up is that you get to wave your own wand. You're working hard enough. All you need is some faith in yourself. <laughs> mm. That popcorn smells good. Oh, it's so good. Mm. <laughs> Have some of that. Hey, Vince. Yo. Hold up. Hey, listen, are you available for dinner tonight? I want to invite you over, but I think Liz want to interrogate you to make sure I was on my P's and Q's when we was over in Bosnia. Nah, that's real kind, but I got to take a rain check. Tell Liz thanks, though. Wait a minute. Are you going on a date tonight, you sly dog? Nah, it's not a date. Remember that kid who was writing those letters over in Bosnia? Yeah, yeah. I'm coaching baseball now. OK, OK, that's a relief. Because if you're dating again, you know, Liz got a whole Rolodex full of women she want to hook you up with. Is the boy's mom at least cute? <laughs> Let me ask a question. What part of I'm not looking did you not get? The N? No, no, no. It's the O, right? And the T? No, no, I'm not looking. I'm not interested. Tell this thanks anyway. All right, you got it? <laughs> oh, Jared, look. Hey. Hi. Vince, this is my mom, Louise Metcalf. Mom, this is Sergeant Vince Carrera. Pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, too. My grandson tells me that you are able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Oh, yeah? Well, only small ones. Nothing over 20 stories. <laughs> you ready, bud? Yes, sir. All right, grab his bat. Let's go play. I don't care what you say. He is cute. Mom. Well, <laughs> I'm just trying. You know. All right, watch the ball right into the bat, all right? Hey, our first game is this Wednesday. Will you come? You can count on it. Each and every piece of equipment your platoons are responsible for must be thoroughly examined. And all damage and or loss that occurs while they are in transit must be reported to the QM on the 2404s within 14 days of the battalion returning from Lockley. Well, with those 14 days are up, you need to get on that. OK. His car's not here. Oh, ye of little faith. Vince will be here. He's a man of his word. I'm leaving this to the fire team leader Bill's leadership. What's up? That kid I've been coaching in baseball's first game is at 15.30 hours. Shoot. Well, is his mom going to be there? Mm-hmm. So this is a date. It ain't a date. Sergeant Major. Yes, Sergeant. Sergeant Carrera would like to know how much longer this is going to take. Because he has a date. 
<laughs> You're going on a date, Sergeant? No, Sergeant Major. It's more like we did. <laughs> Get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Mom, it's okay if Vince doesn't come. I mean, sometimes men can't do things they said they would because they're busy at work. Well, look who's here. What did I say? Hey. Whew. Sorry I'm late. I got held up in a meeting. What's up? Go get him. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I told you I'd show up. Go get him, bud! Before Derek comes up to bat again. Oh, I think he's up fifth. I feel like an ice cream cone. How about the two of you? Ooh, I would love a vanilla cone. Good. Good. You know what? Let me get that. No, no, no. You sit down. This is my treat. Yeah, don't argue with her. You won't win. Okay. <laughs> In that case, I'll take a vanilla cone too. You've got Thank it. Thank you. Good luck, Jared. <laughs> I have to thank you for everything you've done for him. You've made such a big difference. Oh, please, I am having such a good time. Nice! All right, all right, that's what I'm saying. It's hard to grow up with an absentee dad. Yeah, Florida's a long way away. Yeah, well, Phil wasn't any closer when he lived with us. I know how that feels. See, my dad, he worked on oil rigs. And... Not that much room for a family on those things. And then when he wasn't on the rig, he, well, you know, home was the last place he wanted to be. It was like me and my mom weren't even there. We just marked the time to get back out there. You know, my mom tried. She would move us around every couple years, find some place that he could hopefully settle down, but not so much. Oh, OK, yeah. OK. Nice, nice. Have you ever been married? Once. You know, for some reason, I just couldn't... couldn't figure out how to take care of her when I was overseas. So, she found something to take care of her. I'm sorry. No, don't be. It was like three years ago. I'm so over that. Hey, nice cut, though. Nice cut. Mm. Let's go! How long since you've been divorced? Um, me? About a year. Still a little raw? No. Not now. Mm. So, now I'm working on being a single mom and what I want to do with the rest of my life. You know what? You are doing a darn good job with Jared. If you do half a good a job on yourself, you'll be just fine, Dana. <laughs> hey, I got a batter! Hey, I thought you said he wasn't going to be up to bat oh, for a while. I'm sorry. <laughs> good eye, Go good Jared. eye, Jared. Good eye, Jared. Played a good game today, bud. I struck out twice. You went one for three. That's a 3.33 batting average. Most pros don't do that well. You still lost. You know the difference between a good player and a great player? How quick they bounce back, all right? Hey, um. This Saturday is guest day at the base, and I was hoping that y'all could be my guests. Can we, please? Um, you know, that sounds really nice, but it's this Saturday? Yeah. I'm working this Saturday. Oh, all right. Oh, please. Honey, I'm new at this company, and I can't go changing things like that just yet. Well, I could take him. Yes! All right. Hey, Dana. Yes, sir. I uh, took a look at the plans you did for the uh, general architect people. It's good stuff. Thank you. Are you still on your trial period with us? Yes. Not now. From now on, you're permanent. <sighs> oh, Jared, what are you doing? He's ironing everything he's going to wear to the base today. Oh. It's just my way, I guess. Oh. Hi, this is Louise. Hey, Louise. Can I speak to Jared? All right, I'll get him for you. Jared, it's your father. Hi, Dad. Hey, big fella.
Noah? How's my boy? When can I come and see you? That's why I'm calling. I'm in the area. I want to come see you. Would you like that? Today? Does it have to be today? Today is the only day I can do it. But listen, if you got other no, plans, it's... No, no. Dad, I want to see you. Okay, I'll see you at 11 then. Hey, Dana. You guys on your way? Hey, Vince. Look, I'm afraid we have a little problem today. Um, Jared's father came into town unexpectedly, and he wants to see him, and today's the only day he can do it. No sweat. There'll be other guest days. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Yeah, he's got to see his dad, right? Thank you so much for understanding. All right, bye. Hi, this is Louise. Hi, Louise, it's Gil. Jared, it's your father. <sighs> Hi, Dad, are you coming? Sorry, kid. Um, I'm tied up working, I can't get away. Listen, you know what business can be like? Yeah. I'll make it up to you next time, okay? Love you. Bill never showed up. He just called and canceled. Oh, no. Why am I not surprised? Where's Jared? He's in his room. I heard about your dad. He's busy. I know. I'm sorry. Hey, but now we can go to Vince's guest day. We already told him we can't go. Well, I'll call him. Is there still time? Well, I'm sure there is. There's that smile. Let me see that smile. So glad you all made it, man. Wow. Right on. <laughs> Sorry, so, so my parents are over here. Cool. And we'd like to make it spiffy. And visitors, welcome to huh? Day well. Very yeah. nice. <laughs> cool, huh, Jerry? You like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right yeah. <laughs> what? 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 Dana? These are my two best friends, Lanny and Liz McKay. Oh, you're Dana. It's so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And this is Jared. Oh, uh, the baseball player. Heard you're a pretty good catcher there. Heck yeah, he is. <laughs> you want a soda or something? Iced tea. Why don't you guys let me get it? You take Jared on the 10 cent tour and do all the boy stuff before it closes. I'm sure that Dana could use the quiet in R&R &R after a hard day's work, and then we'll be back for dinner when you get back. It's all right, Dana. That sounds great. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, bud. Guess what? I got an armored Humvee with your name on. You wanna take a ride? Sweet, an armored Humvee? Uh, and then oh, we can go look at the helicopter. Careful. You watch him. So what are you taking? Iced tea sweet? Oh, I can get it. No, no, you sit, you chill. I'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> hey! Wow. Hi. Slow down. That's quick. <laughs> look at him. Today was nearly a disaster, but you saved it. I'm just glad it all worked out. Thank you. Hey, I was thinking about going camping this weekend. You think Jerry would like to come? Oh, he would love to go. You come too? Absolutely. So how long have you been in the Army? Well, my mom's a McIntyre, and McIntyres have been in the Army every generation since, shoot, back before the Civil War. Do you dance, Miss Marshall? <sighs> I haven't danced in a very long time. Neither have I. I think it's time we start. May I have his dance? Yes, ma'am. I've been dying to see you Driving through the night I watch the cities burn By candlelight Through your door But I won't leave you here 
Keep your elbow up. There you go. Good cut. Keep your weight on your back leg, all right? OK. Try again. Hey, Mom, do you have any water? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, there's a drinking fountain right over there. Can I try? Sure. Oh, OK. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. oh, I'm good, I'm good. Sorry. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> you know what? I think we need to start with the basics. Okay. okay. Come here. Raise your bat to the ball. Put it right next to it. Okay. There you go. Put it up like that. See, you're a little too close to the plate. Now back up a little bit. Okay, that's a sweet spot right there. See that? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Centered on the center of the plate, okay? Raise up the bat. Elbow up. Mm -hmm. There you go. Are right, you ready? Go for it. <laughs> nice. Really nice. See? Thank you, Lord, for these and all our other blessings. And guide us through this night. Amen. You sleep well. I love you. Mom, hmm? if you married Vince, would he become my dad? Where did that come from? I'm not marrying Vince, and you already have a dad. Dad ignores me, and Vince doesn't. And he is your boyfriend. No, he isn't. What makes you think that? Well, he treats you like your old girlfriend, and you look at him like he's your boyfriend. Oh, honey, the truth is, right now, I would make a lousy girlfriend. And anyway, I only have room for one guy in my life, and that is you. But you said sometimes things we're not ready for happen anyway. We just had to take life as it comes. And Grandma said God sometimes gives us answers to questions we aren't ready to even ask yet. Well, this isn't one of those things. Now go to sleep. Wow, it is so beautiful here. You guys did a great job setting up the tents. I wish you would have let me help. Now, that was strictly a Jared and Vince thing, right, bud? Yep. What's that? That is shish kebab. That's meat cooked on a skewer with peppers and onions and some other things. Mm-hmm. You ever had Middle Eastern food, Jared? I don't think so. Oh, you gotta try foreign food. It helps you understand the people. Hey, you know what? A new Moroccan restaurant just opened up by the base. We should go there sometime. Sounds like grown-up food. Maybe you two should go on your own. Well, you can't say you don't like it if you don't try it. Uh, he's 10 years old. He likes hot dogs and hamburgers and pasta with ketchup, right? Don't worry, I got you covered, bud. How's your hot chocolate? So good. Hey, Dare, do you want another s'mores? Jared, are you asleep? No. <laughs> I think it's time for bed. What time is it? Bedtime. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll get this. Put him in the bed before I fall asleep out here Thanks. again. OK, come on, honey. I mm -hmm. asleep. Oh, no, I know. You were just resting your eyes. <laughs> Good night, buddy. Come on. Hop on in. There you go. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Nope. Nope. What's going on? Man, I have a place for everything, and everything has a place, and I can't find my overalls. <laughs> well, look. Liz asked me to give that to you. Oh, hey, man, that's a good picture. Yeah, it is. Tell us thanks. You got it. What you need your overalls for? Oh, I'm helping Dana paint a room. Ah, uh, she got you doing the honeydews already, huh? No. Helping her paint Jared's room, man. Mm. There's a lot more going on than just painting. Well, you can understand that we're just friends, man. Most newlyweds don't look at each other the way you two do. Look, why don't you just admit you like her? Maybe I like her. But what happens when we get redeployed? I mean, you there on Carol left. I couldn't take care of her when we were in Europe, you know? I was 8,000 miles away, and I couldn't stop her from leaving. 
Man, I can't go through that again. Look, Vince, when are you gonna get it through that thick skull of yours? It wasn't you, it was her. Look, you were perfect, man. I mean, you wrote her every day, you called her every chance you got. You didn't do a thing wrong, okay? She just couldn't handle the separation. She wasn't strong enough. I'm not asking you to marry Dana, but I think you should take her out. Just the two of you. There's a fireworks show at the marina this weekend. I'll see you later. Thanks, man. Get the overalls. Hey, Mom, where's my mitt? Oh, it's under the tarp in the drawer. Sorry about that. Hey, so there's a fireworks display at the marina this Saturday. Andy and Liz are bringing their trailer up to Bluffers Point, and they want to know if we'd like to join them. Well, that sounds like fun. Hey, Jerry, do you want to go? Sure. Cool. This is looking really good. I kind of like the pink. <laughs> that on the phone? Oh, someone who said to tell you that she can't do something tonight. Oh, why didn't you call me? I didn't know you are home. Oh, I'm looking after you. Where else would I be? Now, let's get a little bit more specific. Was it my friend Peggy? Mm hmm. I'll call her. Wait, uh, she said she's not going to be home, and she's going to call you tomorrow to explain. Tomorrow? <laughs> what is it, honey? My stomach doesn't feel well. Jared! Hey, buddy! We gotta get going! Oh, hey! Are you almost ready? We gotta go. He has a very bad upset stomach. Oh, no! Where does it hurt? Everywhere. It must have been something he ate, or some kind of a bug. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just call Vince and tell him we can't make it. No, Mom, you gotta go. Honey, I have to stay here and take care of you. I can't, Grandma. But Grandma's going out. Oh, her meeting got canceled. You can't let Vince down. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm real sorry Jerry wasn't feeling well. He would have loved this. Oh, he would have. But I've forgotten how nice it is to have adult time. Well, with someone other than my mother. <laughs> You know, this is the first night I've been out without Jared in almost a year. How's it feel? Good. Really good. All right. <laughs> Do you remember that Moroccan restaurant I was telling you about? Do you want to have dinner there with me sometime? Are you asking me out on a date? I think I am. A date? Date? Mm-hmm. Our first date. Well, when should we go on this date? Tuesday. What time? Eight o'clock. Oh, no. Some things are just gonna have to wait until our date at eight on Tuesday. It's about time. Well, what made you finally see sense? Well, I think because there's a built-in ending. Eventually, he'll ship out and it'll be over. Does that sound terrible? No, not at all. Anyway, who cares what happens two months from now? The important thing is that you are going out on a date. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. What's this? This cologne Liz buys me. She says, wear it, but don't use as much as I do. <laughs> You want to crease one more time, you're going to cut yourself on it. So you ready to take the plunge, huh? Living today, today. Man, I finally got that you don't have to worry about tomorrow. Thanks, Lanny. Hey, that's what friends are for. You got to live in the moment. Man, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm serious, man. I was with the other night. I'm so clumsy. I tried to kiss her, man. I can't believe that. I'm so stupid. Look, she's still going out with you, right? Well, yeah. OK, because look, dating is like riding a bike. You wobble a bit when you first get back on, but you never forget how. I mean, I don't even know what black looks like. Look, will you quit ironing those pants and get into them? Or are you gonna be late? And that's way too big of a wobble for oh, a first hey, day. Hey, you're wrinkling them. Put them on. All right. So 
so. It's fabulous, again. I like the one before the last one better. No, you're going out to dinner. This one has more um, breathing room. <laughs> you must like one awful lot if you're making this much fuss about what you wear. You know, I do have another option. I have a, a skirt and a really cute blouse. Too late now. What you see is what you get. And you look. I know my. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get the door. You look nice. You look stunning. Thank you. <laughs> Are those for me? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Vince. Hey, bud. Hey. Ah, oh, these are really beautiful. Hey, will you do me a favor and put these in water? Mm -hmm. Make sure you listen to Grandma and that you are in bed by 9 o'clock. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Have fun. I love you. Bye, bud. Bye. Be good for her. <laughs> so do I. I'm serious. The, the couscous with vegetables and chicken. Wow, it all sounds so good. What do you recommend? What do you feel like? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, um, how about I order for both of us and we'll share? Please. Okay. We'll start with the harira with dates. That's a soup. And then the metsi, the machui, and the chicken with the chachuca. A little couscous. Thank you. Are you ordering enough to feed the whole battalion? No, just the platoon. <laughs> what? Oh, you look really beautiful. So, tell me everything I don't know about you. Everything? Yeah, I, I want to know all your secrets. <laughs> Oh, do you know how long it's been since I've been on a date? Almost 14 years. Wow. Liz tried to set me up on a blind date when me and my ex just split up. I was so not ready. I chickened out. I was so nervous about going on my first date. So was I. Thanks for making it so easy. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Good. So, what do you think? Should we do this again? Oh, you mean, uh, just the two of us go on a date? Yeah. Hey, um... Where does Jared fit into all of this? What Jared and I have, it's... It's separate. I mean, he's my buddy. I'm gonna be there for Jared as long as he needs me, okay? And what happens to us when you go overseas again? But hey, Dana, that's... That's, that's months away, I mean. Let's jump off that bridge when we get to it, all right? For now, we'll take it one date at a time. One date at a time. I like the way that sounds. Good. Then yes, I think we should do this again. See her again. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna see her again. At Jared's baseball game. Look, quit dodging the question. Are you gonna see her again? Yeah, man, I'm gonna see her again. We're going out together. All right. Now, she's the only girl you wanna see at the moment, right? Because if not, since you're dating, you're gonna be going on blind dates from now until Christmas. She's the only one I wanna see. All right, good. Now, since you two are dating, you are double dating with us Friday night. No excuses. <laughs> Hey, sleepyhead. So, how did it go? How did what go? Well, we ate Middle Eastern food, and it was delicious. And? And what? 
Do you like him? You know, like that. Is he your boyfriend? Okay, that is not an appropriate question for a son to ask his mother, especially my 10-year-old son. Uh, Jared, uh, take your breakfast into the living room. <laughs> so, how did it go? It was great. And we agreed that no matter what happens, Vince and Jared will be buddies. And do you like him? You know, like that. Yeah, I, I think I do. I mean, it, it's scary, but yeah. <laughs> Good. It's about time you got that part of your heart working again. Kathy Dana? Hi. Hi. Kathy's married to Josh Borgnon over there. Ah. Oh. So do you know what you're gonna have, a girl or a boy? Nope, and I don't want to. As long as he or she's got two good arms and two good legs and five fingers and five toes on each side, I don't care what's in the middle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so when are you due? July. Well, let's hope that they'll be home then. What do you want on your burger, baby? I've been married to him for 15 years, and he still doesn't know what I want on my burger. Being an army mom is tough, but you got what it takes. Do you really think they could be gone by July? No way. No, Liz is just being a worry ward. They'll be home till at least Christmas. Start. Oh, sweet. So much better. Yeah. Woo! Woo! All right, bud, go get him. Right, <laughs> that was tough on the follow. Nice one. Nice swing. Nice cut. Nice cut. Nice hit. Nice hit. Nice cut. Nice cut. That's what I'm talking about. That's all right. That's all right. Fantastic. See, I told you you could play baseball. And for you smiling so much now. But what do you mean now? I always smile. Not like you are now. And thank you, God, for bringing Vince into our lives. And thank you for allowing my mom to love again. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you, Lord, Lord for, for these and all our other blessings. blessings and, and guard us through this night. night. Amen. Amen. All right. We lay down. Get some sleep. I love you. I love you, too.
were? Nothing. Mm. Oh. Dana. Hmm? Open up the Hermosa Architects file, please. Oh, there's something wrong? Okay, go to the roof plans. Oh, stop. How'd you do that? What? How'd you do that in 3D? Why didn't you have to do the whole element? Oh, you do a box select, you drag and drop it onto its page, and then you hit 3D in the toolbar. Wow. Make sure Martha knows about this, okay? Okay. Well done. I've decided to kidnap Jared on Saturday. I want to take him to the zoo. We need some one-on-one -on -one quality time together. Well, that's great, but we have plans on Saturday. What? Going for a bike ride with Vince. Oh, well, then you and Vince would just have to go on that bike ride on your own, wouldn't you? <laughs> I found someone new to love. Found someone that I really need. Found someone who makes me feel everything. Think you weren't gonna make it. <laughs> oh. You okay? Yeah, there was a rush job at work that the so-called computer gal couldn't handle, so I had to. Oh, thank goodness, 24 hours until the weekend and then two whole days off. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you liked your job. Uh, you know, it was challenging while I was trying to catch up the decade I took off, but now I remember why I didn't mind quitting in the first place. It was reliable when I was putting my ex-husband through school, and it was Portable, so I could find a job wherever his work took him. Lucky man. Yeah, except now I'm rid of him, but I'm stuck with the job, and it is boring. Oh. Come on, let's go. All right. Now make a wish. Yeah! yeah. 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 You make the first cut. That's for luck. Very good. Good job. Okay, who wants a piece? I do. Okay. Oh, okay. Mmm. <laughs> Hey, wait, whoa, whoa, slow down. Open the card, see who it's from. <laughs> Dad! Ooh. Well, let's see what he gave you. How did Dad know our team's the Chargers? Uh, maybe a lucky guess. Fits perfectly. Mm. Looks cool. All right, here's this big one down here. Oh! There we go. Here's the card. Who's it from? Vince. Whoa. Cool. Oh, look at that. I got a little bigger, so it'll fit you next year. Thanks. Welcome. Good night. I love you. I love you, too. That was nice of Grandma. What? Pretending Dad remembered my birthday. Dad doesn't sign his cards, Dad. He just puts D. You know, you look pretty cool in that catcher's mask. You think you might be a professional baseball player? Maybe. I kind of want to be a soldier. Would you mind? Well, I don't know. I would miss you, but we have a few years before we have to think about that. We'll jump off that bridge when we get to it. What's up? Nothing. I love you. I love you, too. Good night. Hey. How's he doing? He is falling asleep with a smile from ear to ear. 
birthday was a big day. Exactly. When did you buy that catcher's mask? Yeah. A few weeks ago. That's amazing. You remembered his birthday a few weeks ago, and his own father couldn't even remember to call him today. How's work going? Oh, don't ask. The easier the software becomes, the more bored I get. So why keep doing it? Well, Jared's got to eat, so do I. You know, I didn't just quit baseball because I couldn't hit a curveball. I mean, even if I would have made the majors, most players don't last past four years. Of course, I would have been rich, but... What's that really gonna get me? What'd I do with the rest of my life? Live off the memories? See, that's what I get out of the Army. A lifetime of doing what I love to do. You deserve that, Dana. It wasn't the whole point of you moving in here with Louise so you could find out what you want to do the rest of your life? Uh, yeah, I, I suppose it was. Okay, well, if not draft, then what? When I was a little girl, I, I wanted to be an architect. Mm -hmm. You know, design beautiful homes for people. But drafting was the best plan B available. Well, I said go back to plan A then. You know, go back to school, become an architect. I mean, they have night school, they have part-time, whatever it takes, where well, there's a will. We're only on this earth once, so we might as well do what God put us here to do, right? Thank you. I'm gonna go. All right, then. <clears throat> Good night. Good night. Did Vince leave? Yes. Mom, what would you think about me going to night school? To do what? Architecture. <gasps> it's something you've always wanted to do. I would keep my day job, but I would need help with Jared at night, and it might mean us living here longer than we thought. Is that okay? Oh. I don't know. The way I see it, I win on all fronts. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm excited. You did great. Oh, I know. <sighs> Finally, Sergeant, an order I know you have all been looking forward to is the first part of a deployment readiness assessment. We ship it out. I can't believe it. The Colonel has ordered that we do a full inventory of all equipment, stores, uniforms, etc. If it breathes, salute it. If it doesn't, Put it on the list. What is it, Sergeant? Any idea when we're shipping out, Sergeant Major? Sergeant, all I know is command has requested a full DRA. Why, when, and where, and even if we're going, you'll know when I know. Dude, your move. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. Uh, let's see. Um, there you go. Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Take me. Nice move, bud. Thanks. Are you okay? You've been somewhere else all evening. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just tired, that's all. Would you mind if I called an early night tonight? Go home and get some sleep. Thanks. assessment. I'm being redeployed. Isn't that sooner than you expected? Yeah. When do you leave? They haven't told us yet. I'm sorry. 
Vince's unit is getting ready to ship out again. When? He doesn't know yet. Alice. Me too. What'll happen? Well, you'll write each other. Oh, what'll happen? To you and him. I don't know. Good night. Boy, you've got to be strong to be a soldier's wife. What brought that on? Vince hasn't asked you to marry him, has he? <laughs> no. I was just thinking. Uh-huh. They're getting ready to go overseas again soon. Really? I thought they were staying until Christmas. Hmm. What's going to happen to the two of you? Well, we always said we would cross that bridge when we came to it. The truth is, it's always been there right in front of us like a time limit. Just kept us from making any other permanent decisions. But now that bridge, well, we're getting ready to cross it. What do you want to happen? I don't know, Mom. Vince's wife left him when he was overseas. He was thousands of miles away, and the woman he loved ran off with somebody else, and there wasn't anything he could do about it. So no matter how we feel about each other, I just don't think he'll risk that happening again. I'll miss him. Do you love him? Yeah. I think I do. Have you told him? No. I don't want to put that kind of pressure on him. No. All right, Lanny. I'll explain to you. Right from the get-go, we said it was over as soon as I got redeployed. We both understood that. Right. But that was only when we we're going to be here till Christmas. We've only been here four months, Vince. And that doesn't matter. I'm the first person she's dated since she's been divorced. She's still getting back on her feet. I can't ask her to wait a year for me, man. Look, she's intelligent, she's beautiful, she's fun to be with. She needs to date other guys. Let me ask you a question. Do you love her? I think I do. Will you say anything? No, I haven't told her. Look, Lanny, you've never been divorced, and I pray you never are. Liz, she's... Well, she's one in a million. But the last thing Danny needs right now is to be tied down to someone who's a thousand miles away while she's trying to figure out who she is and what she wants to do the rest of her life. All right? So we still on for the BBQ on Friday? I hope so. Thank you. For what? The last few months. Some of the best times I can remember. Oh, baby, where'd that come from? Just wanted you to know. Dana. The JTF mission in Camp Lemon near Djibouti has been stretched thin by the floods in Ethiopia. Command has decided to expand it by detachment, and that detachment is us. Thargents, we are going to help. We're shipping out in 10 days. Will we be ready? Yes, yes Sergeant, Sergeant Major. Major. So let's get down to details. Each platoon will be traveling by its own bus to Los Angeles Airport, where it will then take civilian aircraft to the Florida base. Well, it's right. You're going. You'll be helping people who need it. It's why you joined the army. Yeah. Well, you'll be gone about a year? Up to. Well, I'll miss you. I'll miss you, too. So, um, well, I guess this is it. Yeah, I know. It's kind of hard to believe we're breaking up, but I guess it's what we need to do. It's what we said we would do. Yeah, I get on the plane, you don't. Yeah, I mean, that's what we agreed to. Yeah. It's for the best, right? Yeah, for both of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay if I still ride Jared? Oh, no. Please, you said you would, so, no, yeah. Good. 
you mind if, if we tell them together? Absolutely. Okay. Just... Hey, uh, Jared, can you come down here for a second? So this is what you want? Well, it's... It's what we both agreed on, right? Yeah. 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 It's, it's good. Yeah, it's... You're... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Jared! Hey, baby, can we talk to you? Come on. I came by to tell you that I'm shipping out. When are you leaving? Ten days. Can we come and say goodbye when you leave? Well, I guess you'd have to ask your mom about that. Well, the thing is, Jared, is, um... Vince and I are no longer dating. Why? Well, it... Well, our time together, it... It ran out. Did I do anything wrong? No. 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 You did everything right. Can I still write to you? You better. And I'll write you back too, I promise. I'll write you about baseball and what countries I've been in and all the foreign food. Anything you want. You can always be there for you, right, bud? How's Jared doing? He's sad. And how are you doing? Well, I knew it was coming, but I'm sad too. I mean, I'll miss Vince, but it was the right thing to do. Oh, that is complete baloney. You two are perfect for one another. You love him, he loves you. It is as plain as the nose on my face. Mom, can you imagine being away from home and overseas and you write the person you love every day, and you call her every chance you get. And sure, at first, she writes back just as often. And then all of a sudden, her letters start coming every other day, and then every third day, and then once a week, and then not at all. And then when you get a chance to call her, she's not home. And there's nothing you can do about it. And then when you finally do return home, she's gone. See, if I were Vince, I wouldn't risk that happening again either. But you wouldn't do that to him. How do I know? Maybe she didn't think she could either. You wouldn't because you are strong. Mom, don't you get it? It doesn't matter. I didn't want us to break up. It's what Vince wants. It's what he needs. Look, all I can say is, I think you're crazy, all right? Only the ones with the CL stamps. Look, you want to know something? If ever there was a woman that you don't have to worry about, it's Dana, all right? She's strong, she's independent, she can take care of herself. You don't have to. Thank you, Dr. Phil. You're right, I agree. I finally found someone I could make it work with. But you're missing a darn point, Lanny. I didn't want this. Look, from day one, we set a deadline on when the relationship would end, and she wanted to keep it. It's her decision, man. It's her decision. I'll be the stone the one that you pick up and throw Across the water, wish you had it back so you could do it all again But now it's gone Under the blue The wall that you just can't see through Down to the bottom where I lie alone again like all Patiently out of the way Show me what you believe in Cause I've been guessing for so many nights If you're gonna say goodbye Just don't leave love behind Take what you can 
now you said all the blank words that burdened your head fell from your lips like a landslide a love song to your worst enemy and you you're just the same as you were when you whispered my name Mom, has the time ever run out and you and Vince being together? How come you miss him so much? No. Well, sometimes the time runs out for one person more than it does the other. Would you miss him as much if he was away and you hadn't broken up? How did you get to be so smart? No, I wouldn't because I would know that he's coming back to us. Dear Vince, my mom is very sad. She misses you so much and I think you miss her. You said your time together ran out. So why are you both so sad? I don't think it's time for you to stop seeing mom. I think you both still want to be together. Love, Jared. what happened before happening again. That would never happen with you. I mean, you're so strong and independent. You could take care of yourself when I'm away. <laughs> I know, but I didn't know that you knew that. I don't want to break up. Neither do I. How could we be so stupid? I love you so much. I love you too.